What's happening, Rye Middle School? David Flood here. Hope you guys and girls are all doing well. I was there in, um, in case you forgot, I'm sure most of 99% of you forgot. I was there in December, early December, giving an assembly on uh, drug and alcohol awareness and making good choices. I hope I left an impression on you all when I was there. But Mrs. Kane asked me, boys and girls, to come back and kind of give you a little follow-up message and I had offered to do that to give her a, a New Year's message, just some thoughts for the new year. And I know that, um, you know, when you're in school, the new year, the, the calendar year overlaps from, you know, one, one grade level to the next. And I know you're looking forward to, I hope all of you are looking forward to going to the high school next year. Not a big transition for you since you don't have to move buildings, but it is a transition nonetheless to move into ninth grade. So I wanted to give you some things to think about, boys and girls, for this year. And what I've, I didn't make a New Year's resolution, but of course I reflect back, you know, at the end of December and in early January on, on how I did last year in my life and things that I'm working on. And I've decided to make this year for myself a year of peace, a year of uh, attracting people into my life who are peaceful. And I know we all want to, or some of us anyway, want to go out and solve all the world's problems, world peace, and there's so much violence in the world. But we often forget to look right in our own backyard and right in our own homes, and where can we spread peace? And that's the way it begins. Obviously, it begins right in your own home, and in your schools, and in your neighborhoods. And, you know, I, I have to practice what I preach I go out and talk in schools and then I can get home and be angry at my kids or, you know, yell at my wife and I admitted to you guys that I wasn't perfect, but I'm working on those things. And I don't think that I said this to you when I was there in December, but I want you to remember this. When you have the choice, boys and girls, when you have the choice to be right or to be kind, you choose kind. And it always, always works. It's, I know it's hard to be wrong and, you know, to admit that you're wrong and to be humble. You know, it's important to be right, but it's more important to be kind and to spread peace. You know, that kindness always diffuses a situation. When you're in an argument and you know you're right, you know you're right, and the other person is, you know, they're, they're sticking to their, their point of view and they know they're right. If one of you backs down, it, it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of humility. It, it's just, it, and it's okay. And it always diffuses the situation, always. So when you have the choice, boys and girls, to be right or be kind, you should choose kind. I hope that you can make this a year of peace, you know, spreading peace just to those around you and, and you know, being helpful to those around you. One of the other talks that I give when I go out in schools and middle schools and high schools is a dignity and respect talk. And I give challenges to the kids and, you know, probably some of the same things that I talked about when I talked about in my awareness and prevention speech to you when I was there in December. But, you know, challenging people to look on the inside of people and not judging them for what's on the outside and showing respect to people around you, not just adults, but everyone around you, children your age, children younger than you, and, um, you know, looking out for people uh, in ways that you can, you know, that you can help them and just make their life simpler. And boys and girls, always remember this, always. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. You attract who you are. So if you want more love in your life, you need to become a more loving person. If you want more kindness in your life, you need to become a more kind person. You know, you have to be what you want to attract. And I know that, that that doesn't sound quite right. That sounds a little weird and, you know, a little strange. But that's the way the universe works, boys and girls. You attract what you are. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. So become what you want to attract and you will attract those people to you. Become a kind person, become a peaceful person, become a loving person, all the time. Be steadfast, steadfast in your abstention from hate towards others, and that's how you attract people to you. That's what St. Francis did. Boys and girls, I hope that you got something out of this message, 
And if you want to, I have a Facebook page. I didn't mention this. If you want, if you guys are on Facebook, um, might be. I know Facebook's kind of for older people, but it's David J. Flood. Uh, if you want to like my face, Facebook page, and I put up some, uh, you know, motivational and inspirational quotes on there that I hope would help you. You can message me through there. And uh, you can always reach out to me again, obviously, through Mrs. Kane if you needed help. And if I couldn't help you, I would refer you to someone who could. So I hope I get to see you next year. Who knows? Maybe I'll be at the high school or maybe I'll be back at the middle school and I'll run into some of you. I hope you're staying warm. Have a great rest of eighth grade and good luck in ninth grade next year. Have a good day, boys and girls. Be well.